Welcome to Problem Solving Mathematicians. I'm so excited to have you help me solve this problem. This problem, we're going to be using what we've learned the last few weeks. We're going to be using our strategy of beginning, middle, and end to break down the problem and think about what we know. And we can use tools or pictures to help us solve it. So my problem today says, <clears throat> there were seven pigs playing in the mud. Seven more pigs came to play in the mud. How many pigs were playing in the mud? So mathematicians, let's think about what we know. What happened in the beginning of my pro problem? Excellent. In the beginning of my problem, we learned that there were seven pigs in the mud. Now let's think about what happened in the middle of our problem. Good. In the middle, we know that seven more pigs came. Now, do we know what happened at the end of the problem? No, we don't. It just says how many pigs were playing in the mud. So we don't know that. And since they're asking us a question and we don't know it, we're going to put the question mark. Now we're going to use our tools or a picture to solve this problem. I'm going to let you guys pause the video to try it on your own and then come back to me to check and to finish our lesson. So today I'm going to use tools and pictures to help us. That way um, we can see in the different ways. So I'm going to start out with my tool here. And this tool is called a wreck and wreck. You may be familiar with the wreck and wreck. The wreck and wreck has two rows of beads. Each row has 10 beads. There are five white beads and there are five red beads. When we use our wreck and wreck, we'll slide the beads over for what we know. I'm going to put what I know in the beginning on the top row and what I know in the middle at the bottom. So I know that there were seven pigs in the beginning that were playing in the mud. So I'm going to move seven onto my top row. Now I'm going to think about the middle. It said seven more pigs came. So I'm going to move seven more over. I'm going to only look at the beads that I moved over to find out how many pigs were playing in the mud at the end. So I know the top row is seven. So I'm putting that in my head and I'm going to count on seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. With my tool, I think there are 14 pigs that are playing in the mud. I'm going to check my answer by drawing a picture. So I'm going to use circles because remember when we draw pictures, our pictures should be quick and easy. So in the beginning, I know there were seven pigs. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to count again just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to draw a picture for the middle. So I'm going to draw seven circles for seven pigs. So I'm going to move this one over here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I am going to count all the circles together to see how many pigs were playing in the pig pen. Well, I already know this row is seven. 
So I'm going to put that in my head and I'm going to count on as I point to each dot or each circle. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got 14 again. So since I used two different strategies and I got the same ending answer, I'm pretty sure that there were 14 pigs. So underneath the question mark, I'm going to type 14 pigs. Now, mathematicians, we're not done yet. Even though my work shows how many pigs were playing, I haven't written the ending to our story problem yet. So remember, firsty mathematicians will come up back to the problem and we need to write the end to our problem. So I'm going to write 14 pigs playing in the mud. Now, I bet you're all wondering, what is this interesting word over here that we haven't talked about yet? Well, mathematicians, that word is called equation. An equation is a number sentence. A number sentence shows adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So, I want to come up with a number sentence or equation for our problem. How do we do that? Well, firsty friends, since we broke down our problem in beginning, middle, and end, I can use that to help me write my equation. I can take how many I had in the beginning, and then I need to think, am I adding more or am I taking some away? Well, here we added more pigs. So what sign do we use when we are adding? Excellent, we use the plus sign when we add. Now I'm going to take a look at how many we had in the middle. Well, we had seven in the middle, so I will put that. At the end, that is what it equals. So since we figured out what it equals, we're going to put the equal sign and type 14. So here, I can use what I know from the beginning, middle, and end to help me write an equation. Thank you so much, my first grade mathematicians, for helping me solve this problem today. I hope you grew your brain and made some good mathematical connections.